Hello folks, Jason Christman here, JC's Bees. Today I want to discuss some of the grafting tools and accessories I use when rearing queen bees and I think you'll find it rather informative. There's probably a lot of things on the market if you're new to this that you didn't know about or you just weren't aware of. So I think this video is going to be rather helpful. Check it out, see what you think and uh, we'll meet back right here. Check this out. The first thing I want to show is the JZBZ cell cups that I installed in the cell starter yesterday on my grafting frame. These are just a plastic cup with a little pin on the bottom that fits up in the groove of the grafting bar frames. Very handy. Um, these come in various colors. They are transparent so that when the queen cell is formed, you're actually able to see through it and candle them and see your living queen. Now, if you do not want to put any expense into cups, you can make your own. There's a video on how to make your own out of wax down in the video description. Check that out if you're interested. The next thing I want to discuss is grafting tools. If you do not want to put a lot of expense into grafting tools, these are both options. This is basically a dental pick that I bent certain directions in order to get down in the cell and scoop up the larva. This one here is an aluminum handle with a paper clip shoved down in the end. I took the very tip, I bent it, I took my hammer, I flattened it out, and it's got like a little shovel on the end. This works very well. Uh, the next tool that I use, and I don't use, you know, I hop around from tool to tool. If this one's not working for me good that day, I'll try that one. If that one's not working well, I'll move on to something else and I might come back to this one and it worked good for me. So, you know, it's nice to have a couple different options to play with. This one here is the JZBZ tool. You can see the slight hook on the end. It's a plastic tool. Works very well and I believe it's less than 10 bucks. This one here is the Easy Scoop grafting tool. This is one that I personally sell. It's got a slight shovel on the end. You can kind of see there, a little scooper. And it makes it so you're able to go right down in the cell, scoop up your larva, and pull right back out. Very handy. Now here, this is probably one of the most common. This is the Chinese grafting tool. And what I have here is two different models of that. This one has a bamboo shaft. This one has a plastic shaft. Do I prefer one over the other? Uh, the shaft isn't what I look for. You see, when you buy the Chinese grafting tool, you need a bunch of them because one might work good, the next one might not. And you have to play around with them a little bit. See, there's a little plastic reed here on the end. And when you buy them, usually they're, all right, they're straight. You're going to want a slight curve on the end of that, so it takes some bending and some manipulating to get it the way you want. But after you get it to working, you can see how the little plunger slides down, and that little plunger will push the larva right off and into your cup. Bloop. So, Chinese grafting tool. Very nice, very cheap. If you buy some of these, buy a bunch of them. If you don't have the greatest vision, you're going to want some assistance. This magnifying glass here clips right onto a frame. See how wide it opens? has uh, two LED lights on the bottom, and it works very well for grafting. Now, if this isn't your cup of tea and you're looking for something else, you might consider a headlamp magnifying glass. It's got an LED light, battery powered, and then you get this set of lenses. Each lens is a different strength, and the way this headlamp works, you've actually got the option of putting in two different lenses. You can put one here, and you could put another one here if your vision is pretty bad. But, very handy. So those are some of your options when you're getting into queen rearing that you're going to want to consider. And remember, what I've noticed helps me the most see the larva when I'm grafting is a background light. But you don't want some kind of a background light 
that's creating a bunch of heat and going to dry out your larva. So keep that in mind. So what'd you think? Did you learn anything? Was any of this informative to you or did you know about all of these accessories? Let me know down in the comments below. One thing I'd like to mention that uh, if you're interested in supporting JC's Bees, myself, um, each of these products are listed down below um, and they are affiliate links. I'll get a small kickback from these products. Nothing great, very, very small, but it all helps, right? Um, if you're not interested in making a purchase but you would still like to support my channel, you can follow the link to my blog where there is a donate button. And I appreciate anything that you may do to help contribute to JC's Bees. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, if you like the video, throw me a thumbs up. That'll help boost it in the YouTube search ranks and make it easier for other beekeepers to find. If you haven't subscribed, please go down below and click on the subscribe and make sure you click on the little bell. That way when I release new videos, you're sure to be notified. Um, we're doing a clean rearing series right now and uh, I think it's helping out a lot of people. So, in the next couple days we'll release a video on the finisher, transferring the grafting frame back to the finisher. And uh, from there I have a few more videos. I want to do uh, queen cells in an incubator, uh, setting up the mating nukes, and all that good stuff. So there'll be a lot more to come with this one series. Thanks for watching, folks.